Apparently, I'm the new guy that cusses too much, so I can't curse anymore. And Colin doesn't want to be in the damn video, but we're going to throw him in the damn video. Up oh, two curse words. Can't say that. What up, Piglets? It's your boy, Tana. I'm here coming at you with another beer review. I'm going to change it up a bit this week. I got a few of y'all's comments, or at least Colin let me know about a few of y'all's comments, so I'll change it up. This week, we're going to do chive beer, that KCCO chive on. Let's get this going. It smells good. It's a great wheat flavor to it, that's for sure. It's not strong or nothing. It's like a subtle kind of wheat flavor. Dang. Wish you got more of this. Hmm. Hmm. Definitely, I'd give this one a nine for sure. Nine out of ten piglets. Let's look at the alcohol content. Let's see on here. I have five percent alcohol. Hopefully. It's not even that strong. It's a very tolerant hoppy. I guess it depends on the person, because all beers are different to different people. Like I myself, I'm a Dose and Coors Light fan. I mean, really any Mexican beer except Corona, which is just Mexican piss to me. But this is like a very subtle hoppy to me. But for sure, definitely one of the better ones I've had so far. I mean, it's only the second beer, so. But yeah, for sure. That's definitely one of the better ones. I'm hoping the rest are like that. Because that root beer ugh, definitely wasn't that great. Keep the comments coming. Tell me if I need to change anything up. I'm definitely open ears for any of that stuff. I'll list the last few of them that I have out of that pack I got. But pick some out of those right now. And then whenever I finish this pack, we'll go out and get more. And we'll try and get y'all's if they are selling them down this far south. I'll holler at y'all later. Uh, look forward to the food reviews. Got those coming up next week. And keep calm, chime on. See y'all next week.